Smears Cam, I thought I would just do a little video that lets you guys know a little bit about myself. Um, just because I haven't done videos in a while. I know I've been posting some videos, but um, I used to do videos while I was in my RN program. And then I started mentoring and tutoring people a lot, especially people that were um, messaging me on YouTube. And it just didn't leave me a lot of time to actually do videos because of, you know, family, work, school, and then trying to do that. And I also tutored for um, the school that I was going to and also for a couple of other programs. But um, anywho, I'm Nurse Cam. Um, I, if we go from the beginning, when I graduated high school, I went to LPN school. Um, when I finished that, I went into the Army. Um, there I met my husband and we have seven kids, um, five girls, two boys, five girls first, then two boys. Um, my kids range from 21, that's my oldest two, um, to nine. And they're all doing great. Uh, my oldest daughter, she's at MSU. Um, she has a scholarship for music and she sings there. And my daughter under her um, she went to school for or college for two years and then she joined the Navy and she does um, she's a part of the air rescue um, team and she also her main job is to find submarines so she loves it and she enjoys it um, she's away in school for two years so but she enjoys it so um, my other daughters are um, in high school. One's graduating this year with plans to go to um, college for um, public affairs. And then I have a daughter under her who um, plans to go to college to be a military officer. She wants to study psychology as of now. And um, she's doing really great in school. And then I have a daughter that's under her who's a freshman this year, but she's doing great in school also. She decided to do the associate's degree while in high school. So when she graduates, she'll have an associate's degree and um, her diploma on the same day. So and she has plans to be a military officer as well. Um, she hasn't narrowed down what you know field of study she wants to do, but she does know that she wants to go to college and she wants to be in the military, which is awesome. And then I have my two boys, which they're not thinking about college right now. Um, my oldest son loves chemistry, but hasn't really picked what his focus is going to be. And my younger son, he just goes to school, but he probably rather would not, but <laughs> He just goes. He's, he's very lovable and he's my character, so he keeps me laughing. And then I have um, my husband, and I, like I told you guys, I met him while I was in the military. He's a Marine, and um, he, he, he is my joy. He is my world, and he, he just, you know, makes everything better. You know, he's my motivation. He keeps me on task, and he keeps me realizing, you know, all the things that can be accomplished, you know, if, if we all work together as a team and as a unit. So my family is really, really important to me. And one day I'll get them on my video so you guys will all meet them. But anywho, they're great. And so um, while I was in the military, um, I got accepted to an RM program, but I was stationed in, in California and the school was in Maine and I couldn't bring my children or my husband so it just wasn't going to work for me so I decided to get out of the military and go to RN school. So when I did get out I got accepted to a program, went to that program um, and decided to do the ASN route because I wanted to hurry up and um, go to work and get experience because I thought I really wanted to be CRNA. Um, and so I wanted to hurry up and start getting my experience so that I can apply for that school. Um, so I graduated the next year after I graduated with my ASN, I graduated with my BSN. And after working in the emergency room, ICU, critical care flow teams, I 
I kind of just, I, I, I wanted to see care and be like the first point of care. I wanted to be the person that was following up with them. I always wondered what was going on with the patients that left me. That was, I, I wondered, you know, were they listening to the things that I um, educated them on and if they were doing better or if they were doing worse or if they remembered what I taught them or so it seemed like primary care was going to be a better choice for me. So I applied for a primary care position and I got um, hired. And from working there, I just love, I love my job. I like love my job. I love my job. And I can see myself being the provider and, and doing that role. So um, I was already in, I had already applied to the family nurse practitioner program, and so I had already been accepted, but we moved from um, Missouri to California, and so I needed um, a little adjustment time, so I took a semester off. So I am in my second semester of my FMP program, even though I technically have had three semesters, I just... I didn't do my clinical portion in the last semester, so I did take two classes. I just wasn't like in the school, and so um, this semester I'm taking um, adult to aging um, with the clinical portion 180 hours. I am taking an ethics um, and legal practice course. Um, I'm also taking um, a research. Um, course with that focuses with evidence-based practice um, and those are my courses for this semester um, last semester or the classes that I've already taken I've already taken advanced pharmacology advanced patho advanced health assessment um, leadership and um, the role of an advanced practice nurse so those were interesting, but I'm glad those are all done. So pretty much my core core classes were um, being an advanced practice nurse were finished. So now I just get to do more of the clinicals and other um, pieces that make me a you know a good provider. So um, this is an MSN program. Um, the school I'm going to the same school that I went to for my ASN and my BSN. So I'll have my ASN. BSN and MSN from um, Cox College. That's the school that I go to. Um, I got accepted to um, San Francisco, the University of San Francisco's um, DAP program, um, but <clears throat> I don't want to like do an extra class. I don't know what to do. No, I do know what to do. I'm going to finish the program I'm in, and then I'll look at my DMP after. Um, I do want to go and do my DMP right after because I'm fresh with writing papers. I'm fresh with, the, you know, what's current. And so I want to just go ahead and get that done so that I don't want to take a break. Because I'm afraid if I take a break, um, I'll forget, you know, like simple things um, for, you know, writing papers. Because the papers are going to be the longest and I am really current on those kind of things. Um, I did a video already on um, writing your papers. It's a really, really cool program called Perla. So if you haven't watched that video, watch it. I think that was the best tool um, I had from nursing school on. Um, it was re it was recommended by the college that I was going to, and it was the best recommendation ever. Um, and at the college that I was going to, it was available if you were using their computers, but it was not that expensive. So, um, um, if anybody still wants mentoring and tutoring, I still do it, and I don't charge for it. Um, I believe in helping everybody progress and get to where you want to be. Um, it's just this time I'm going to make time to do videos, so if y'all guys want a video on something, um, just ask, and if you have a question, just email it and message it to me, and um, I will get to you. But I wish everybody luck and continued success on your journey to whichever path you're going from, even if you're CNA, LPN, RN, MSN, DMP, um, I wish you, you know, continued success. And 
I can't wait to watch your guys' journey. So I'm going to be loving everybody because everybody gives me motivation um, as they continue their journey also. And I'm interested to see how other schools, you know, um, do their program. My school, I'm not going um, to class. I go online. Um, so everything's online. And I think all online schools are a little bit the same, but a little bit different. So I'm interested to see how everybody else's programs are. So, um, and good luck, you guys. Bye.